gooey, fluffy red velvet cinnamon rolls. If you love red velvet cake and the satisfying pull apart wonders of cinnamon rolls, you can have the best of both worlds for breakfast with these. There's something about the flavor of red velvet that drives people absolutely crazy. Now you're gonna get that familiar flavor of sweet cinnamon roll with a bright red hint of chocolate, and it actually makes sense when you think about the cream cheese frosting. But before we get into that creamy goodness, let's start by making the dough. So we're gonna start by combining our two cups of flour with sugar, cocoa powder, dry yeast, and salt in a stand-up mixer that's fitted with a dough hook. We're gonna mix all of this until combined. Next, microwave your butter and water until it's warm but not completely melted. Now combine your butter and water with your food coloring and add that to our flour mixture. Then add one egg. Beat together on high for two minutes, scraping down the sides of the bowl occasionally. Then add an additional cup of flour and continue mixing. You want to stir in just enough flour until the dough forms into a ball. This is looking good, so now we're going to add a ton of flour to our cutting board. You really want to make sure that this dough doesn't stick at all, and we're going to knead it for about six to eight minutes. Now you can kind of think of this as a little mini workout, so you can eat one more extra roll once they're done. There we go. Now our dough is nice and smooth, has a little stretch to it. So we're just gonna cover it with a towel, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and while that's rising, we can make our cinnamon mix. Into a bowl, combine your sugar, cinnamon, and cocoa powder and mix together. Now you might have noticed this is the second time that you're using cocoa powder. That's what's gonna give the red velvet that mild chocolate flavor. And now that we have this, we can make our rolls. Use a rolling pin and roll the dough into a 10 by 16 inch rectangle. Now once your dough is the right size, spread your butter all over it and sprinkle with a cinnamon mixture. Then start at the long end of the rectangle and begin to roll the dough tightly, pinching to seal as you go. Next, we'll cut the dough roll into one inch sections. And here's a little trick. Use unflavored dental floss to really make clean cuts. Now we'll just grease our baking dish, place our rolls down, cover them with a towel, and let them rise for another 45 to 60 minutes, or until the dough has doubled in size. How cool is it that we just made homemade cinnamon rolls? You guys have been asking for this recipe, and I'm so happy I read the comments and decided to make these. Now don't forget to always leave me suggestions in the comment box below. I love seeing them, I read them, and I really get inspiration from you. So I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and now I'm gonna bake them for 23 to 28 minutes, or until the tops are golden and the dough is cooked all the way through. Awesome, now while those are baking, we're gonna make our cream cheese frosting. To make this, we're just gonna combine our cream cheese, butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, salt, and then mix until it's nice and smooth. Mmm. Now, a word to the wise, you may want to make extra frosting because there's no such thing as too much when it comes to this. Holy cinnamon, these look amazing. Now, I cannot wait to just spread this lovely cream cheese frosting right on top. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Now usually this is when I stop and take my Instapix, but uh, sorry producer Nicole, I think I'm just gonna take a bite right now. Oh my God, oh, look at the stretch. I mean, look at the stretch on this, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna eat the middle part. Mm. Wow, these are so good, they melt in your mouth. I think anytime you make something that's red, it just screams. This was made with love, and I just can't wait to make this for someone special. I'm Brandy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food, and I'll see you next time. Bye.